kuona ule jamaa aliokoka ule jamaa amegeuka hata wacha nikwambia kuna kitu ambacho kina suluhisha shida zote kama kuokolewa unasikia ni kama ulikuwa umebeba mizigo mizito na yote imeenda ukiokolewa basi maisha yako yanageuka vitu vya kale vitakuwa vimeenda na vipya vitakuwa vimeingia na ni wewe mwenyewe ukombolewe kwa kumjua Yesu Kristo kumwamini na kumdhamini basi utakuwa na uzima wa milele lakini nimeuliza kitu kimoja utamwaminiaje vipi huyu ambaye haujawahi msikia kwa hivyo lazima wewe mwenyewe usikie habari njema habari njema ambayo Yesu Kristo alikufa akazikwa na akafufuka kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu lazima wewe mwenyewe usikie hii habari njema na leo tukuletea habari njema ni wewe mwenyewe uweze kuipokea na ukipokea hii habari njema wewe mwenyewe uweze kuielewa uisikie habari njema ya kuwa jinsi Yesu alikufa akazikwa akafufuka kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu miaka elfu mbili zilizopitwa kunaye mmoja ambaye alikuja hapa hakuwa kawaida alikuwa hajatenda dhambi yoyote alikuwa na Yesu anaitwa Yesu Kristo akakuja hapa duniani akafa akajitoa yeye mwenyewe ili yoyote ambaye anamwamini asife bali awe na uzima wa milele na ukisikia hii habari njema kwa sababu tulikuwa na habari mbaya habari mbaya ni kuwa sisi wote tulifaa kwenda jahanam sisi wote ni wenye dhambi kama kuna mtu anasema yeye si mwenye dhambi basi anajidanganya sisi ni wenye dhambi ni kweli sisi ni wenye dhambi kwa sababu tulizaliwa kwenye dhambi tulizaliwa na mwenye dhambi na maisha yetu yote ni mawazo mabaya tabia mbaya vitu vibaya hauhitaji kuambia mtoto kuwa hii ni mbaya tayari anajua kwa sababu mbegu ya dhambi iko kwenye kila mwanadamu na tulifaa kuenda sisi jehanamu we were born to go to hell lakini Yesu akajitolea ye mwenyewe akasema huyu anafaa kwenda kuhukumiwa lakini mimi wacha nichukue hukumu ya huyu jamaa hukumu ya huyu mama ili yeye asife bali awe na uzima wa milele na sasa sisi kitu tunahitaji kufanya ni kusikia hiyo habari na ukishasikia habari njema kitu ambacho unahitaji kufanya ni kuamini Lazima wewe mwenyewe uamini habari njema. Na ukishaamini hakuna kitu kingine unahitaji. Ni kumweleza Mungu jinsi wewe umeelewa na ukaamini. And you love eternal life. The Bible tells us that it is appointed for man to die once and after that judgment. A day is coming. A day is coming when every knee shall bow and every mouth shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And for those who are saying that Jesus is not God, for those who are saying I cannot believe in this man, then let me tell you you're fooling yourself. It's just a matter of time. Just look at the world today and tell me if we still have much more time. Look at what is happening right now in the world. Look at how moral decadence is happening everywhere. Some laws are being passed in parliament and many other places. How could have thought that our country one day will be debating who is a man and who is a woman? Why did people go to school if they cannot differentiate between a man and a woman? Why did people go to school if they cannot understand that this is a man and this is a woman? There is a problem. This is called moral decadence. And we were already prophesied that it will come in the last days. We were told 
And there is nothing new under the sun. It is not our country only. It's everywhere. The whole world is like that. But the Bible said that one day every knee shall bow and every mouth shall confess that Jesus is God. And how can you confess if all that you con can confess is all the evil things that you watch every day, all the evil things that you do every day. That is the only thing which is filling the minds of the people. But they don't know the goodness of God, that Jesus came to take you out from that so that you can have eternal life. You need to have eternal life, it's free. It is free. You know, people are always looking for free things. If something free comes today, people are rushing for it. But there are some things which are free, but they, it is not really free. It will cost you. I just saw the other day people rushing to go and get some coins and put their eyes in some gadget. Yes, it's free. You'll get some 7,000. But it's not really free. You will pay with your soul. Truth be told, you will pay for that. But the gift of God is free. The gift of God is free. He gave us his life for free. It is for you to believe. Everything else that the devil gives you is never free. He will give you, but there are conditions. There are terms and conditions apply. They will give you all these things. They will give you goodies, but terms and conditions apply. But only Jesus will give you his eternal life for free. And all that you need to do, my friends, is believe the gospel. And what is the gospel? The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And it says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which you received, and wherein you stand, and by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Very easy to know the gospel. How Jesus died for our sins, he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. That's the good news. Because we were destined to hell. What was the bad news? The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 6 verse 23, the wages of sin is death. We are all sinners. We knew that for sure we are going to hell. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. There's a gift. There's a free gift. You will not pay anything because someone paid for you. But then, how did Jesus die? Because one thing you have to understand is that you have to know, you have to understand this salvation. You can hear the good news, but probably you will not even understand. But you need to understand so that you can be saved. The Bible says one thing, that you have to hear and understand with your hearts so that you can be saved. And until you understand from your hearts, you can never be saved. So how did Jesus die? The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, how Jesus died. So how did Jesus die? The same Bible tells us that Jesus died by shedding his blood. He shed the, all drops of his blood. He shed them. And somebody will be asking today, why did Jesus have to shed his blood? Was there no other solution? Maybe if Jesus drowned in water, could there be salvation? If Jesus maybe was executed by hanging, would there be salvation? If Jesus was electrocuted, would there be salvation? Let me tell you, my friends, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 9.22, without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. That's why Jesus had to shed his blood for you and for me. 
so that there could be forgiveness of sins. But then you don't believe. You don't believe for sure this man had to shed his blood for you. He was fully man and fully God. And then you ask yourself the second question. Then if Jesus had to shed his blood, then what was so important about the blood that Jesus had to shed his blood? Let me ask you, what is the importance of blood? We see blood in rituals, we see blood in things. What is so important about this blood? And the Bible tells us in Leviticus 17 verse 11, the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've given you the blood upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that atones for the soul. There is no way you can atone for your soul except you atone it with your blood or someone's blood. But our blood was so imperfect, it could not atone for anything. We are sinners ourselves. So we need a blood which is pure. And no angel, no person could be able to offer that blood so that we could be saved. person who could offer that blood and that's why God in his throne he saw that man was going to be destroyed because he needed someone to atone for his sins and that's why Jesus came he was born of a human being but his blood his blood was, was of God that's why a woman 